Yo guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new series of FIFA 21 Career Mode. I know we didn't finish our last series with Scumthorpe in FIFA 20, but now FIFA 21's out, I just want to crack straight on into this and jump into it. So let's jump into the gameplay. Right. The team we are going to choose is Harrogate Town, the lowest rated team in FIFA 21 in the English in the English division throughout the full English teams. They are the lowest rated club worth of 1,363,000, transfer budget of 914,722. It's going to be tough. This is going to be the hardest career mode I have hev ever, ever done. Let's go. So these are the settings we're going to be running with. Match difficulty, legendary, half length, four minutes, currency, sterling, enable Champions League and Europa League first season. Transfer window is going to be open for the first summer as well. No international job offers. Negotiation strictness of strict and not loose. So it's going to be very tough for us. Financial takeover is absolutely disabled. Not having any of that. And football is back. At the start of every new season, the sun is shining. Our hopes and dreams are passed behind us. We're focused now on what might be and on what's going to be the first game of a new campaign, the first day of the rest of our footballing lives. Can we get Harrogate Town into the Premier League, into the Champions League in this series? I think we can. It's going to be a tough, tough ask, as I've previously said, but we can do it. Onto the pre-season tournament invites. We are going to do one of these because we need that extra funds. So hopefully we can go far in this competition. I'm going to choose the European Shield, the one with the most money. Coming up against teams that I have never heard of in my entire life. Um, what other teams is they? It's a bit more. No, we're going to go for the European European Shield, the most money. Go far in that. Oh no, it's not the most money. European International Cup's the most money. With all Irish teams, that looks like the best one to go for. Yeah, we'll go for that one instead. First off, I just wanted to look into my youth development squad. A new feature in FIFA 21 is you start off with players in your youth development set up from the start. And it's a lot more in depth than it used to be. So that's good and straight from the off I can see a striker that is 70 overall so that's absolutely amazing for us. Couple of good potential players there as well but he is an absolute weldy. Look at that. Five star skill moves, five star weak foot, 17 years of age, six foot two, left footed. He's going straight into the team. Haven't even looked at the team yet but he's going straight into it. There won't be anyone as good as him in this team. He is going to be our star player. Harry Welsh from England. You are a star. Promote. So this is how the team is actually shaping up. This is the formation we're going to run for this season. The 4-3-1-2 formation. We've got a work to do. We haven't got a very big squad if you can take a look at that. So it's going to be a very tough ask. Uh, we need a centre attack of mid ASAP, someone creative in there. Um, we probably need some better full backs because they're going to need to be bombing up and down that wing. Um, I say better, I mean some more, more fitness really. I need, I need fit lads. I need fit lads on them, wing, on them wings. Um, goalkeeper's looking a bit sus for me. I'm uh, probably going to have to change him out as well. Have a look, see who we can recruit. I do have another goalkeeper on the bench who is 60 rated. Probably going to actually switch him out and run with that for now. Make it a little bit stronger. Um, other than that, we'll take a look and see who we can actually scout. And here's our objective overview. Emirates FA Cup wants to reach the round of 16, which is absolutely fucking crazy. <laughs> English Football League 2, avoid finishing the bottom part of the table. 
which you want me to avoid finish bottom part of the table in the lowest league in FIFA 21 English League, but you want me to reach the round of 16 in the FA Cup. All right, good one. Within two seasons, have at least one player from your youth academy signed in the first season. Play at least 50% of the games in the next season. Pretty easy objectives apart from the FA Cup one is a bit of a stretch, lads, let's be honest. Um, but we'll see how that goes. In terms of the financial, keep player salary growth under 20%. Domestic league, obviously, finishing in the FA Cup. No continental success. Brand exposure. Get a streak of five wins in home matches this season. Doable. And the youth development one, which we saw in the objective overview. We actually do start off with a scout as well. Not a very good one at this, um, being this low down, but we have a scout. So that is absolutely amazing. Don't have to spend any money on bringing a scout in, just sending him out. So I'm going to send him out to a location now. And I am actually going to send him to Wales, one of the new countries, what we can send the scout to. I've always wanted Wales in the, in in the scouting system and now they're here so we're going to send him out to there and see if he can bring me back anyone with potential at all it's going to go for three months just any and that's looking tasty so i have set up two scouting instructions for my scouts who are currently out in three different places attacking midfielder first team quality age range between 20 and 30 mixed bag really see what they bring back and first obviously first team quality and same with a goalkeeper, but age range between 20 and 26, first team quality again. See who we bring back on that one. So with FIFA 21, another new feature, which I'm probably all aware of, is you set your month out to how you want. So you can do training, training, rest days, recovery days, or you could do all training. And this impacts your match sharpness, your um, fatigue level, and your morale. We just need to find a good balance for this team to see what we kind of looking at. I am just going to do it for the first two weeks for now because we've got our games in between. So I'm going to set up with before a match, have a rest day, after the match, have a recovery day. And in between that, just intermittent of training, see how that goes for the time being. And we might have to change it up depending on how our stats go. And here is our very first fixture in the European International Cup against Shelbourne. Nothing really much to say. We are actually going to play this one because I want to get a feel for the team, feel for the players, see how they react to me and how we do. Um, and see how our new striker plays. So we have a probable lineup from Shelbourne looking like a 4 4 1 1 formation. Um, they're going to have a bit of width there. We're going to have to try and spread our centre mids out across the pitch. Um, but let's jump into it. And here we go. Our very first fixture in this series is in the form of a friendly against Shelbourne. We're from Ireland. Let's get a win. Let's start off with a win, boys. Kick off underway. Welsh on the ball. Tries to feed in the left back in Jones he's moving forward back into Welsh Welsh with the ball Welsh with a strike at goal oh he's hit the side net and it's gone wide good movement from the lad to get in a good position inside the box and he strikes it just wide got on the ball out and off he ooh got a bit of a broken leg I reckon 24 minutes gone player down injured Gonna get the stretcher out, ref. What happened? Oh, just a bad fall. Probably jarred his knee. Should be all right. Should be all right, unless they're gonna pull the stretcher out for him. Nah, he's a little funny. Bottled it. Corner ball. Corner ball. Corner swinged in. Oh, nearly onto the head of the defender. And it's gone out for another corner kick. I don't know any names at the moment, so bear with me on the commentary. Absolutely trash because I don't know any names. Carry with it. Into Malden, can Welsh get away? Gets a little through ball. Oh, it's just hit it wide of the right hand post. Good movement, good through ball. Ah, it's coming, it is coming. Getting in them positions and it's gone wide. It is still nil nil, 33 minutes gone. 
Good ball into the left-hand channel. Emmett with it. Can he pick someone out? Tries to play it across into Emmett's path. Won't even Emmett. I don't even know who it is. Like I say, I don't know a fucking player on this team. Probably should have learned and before coming into this match. Oh, oh, this is a dangerous position. Can we get the ball in early? Good ball across. Thought it was a good ball across. Gone out wide. Needed that whip on it. Coming round. Ah, shit ball. Still nil nil. And there is the half-time whistle. Not an awful half, considering we're not used to this team. Few glimmer of chances with for that man Welsh, but other than that, not really much happening. Hopefully, it picks up in the second half, but looks unlikely because it's just not used to this team. We need to gel. Need to get the players in that we want. Bit more quality. Um, but let's see how this second half goes, shall we? Here we go. Get him on the counter. Welsh, ball through. It's got to be. Got to finish at the end of this. Defender is catching up to him. Goal! Welsh's first goal for the club. 52 minutes gone. It is 1-0. Cool finish in the end. Slots it past the goalkeeper. Thought the defender was going to catch up to him. But he slots it away with ease. Absolutely quality. Thought he ran out of steam. Keeper looked like he was coming out. And bang. Near post, keeper, what are you going to do? 1 0. See you soon. Oh, lovely finish. Absolutely lovely. Oh, he's done me. Got a shot away and he's scored. Fuck's sake. They didn't have a single shot at goal in the first half. And we go and score, and they score straight after us. And my defence was non existent. My defence was non existent. Rome wasn't built in a day. And either is fucking arrogant town. Shocking. That just that's poor. That is piss poor. Good finish in the end, but what can you do? What can you do? It's a learning curve, it's a building process, and we're here for the long run. Great ball out into the right hand channel. Needs a decent delivery, is it? Oh why aren't you throwing yourself at that? Fucking hell, what a ball across that was. It just needed a little touch in and it would have been 2-1. 66 minutes gone, it is still 1-1. Hey, okay, here we go, left back's on. Get a good ball in. It's that straight near the keeper again. Can we win it in the air? No, it drops out to their players and they could potentially have a good counter attack here. Build up play, plays it over the top. I don't know if he's onside, he is onside in Dobbs. Defenders getting back, we're back in numbers, plays it back through, it's a goal, it's a goal, it's a goal. Oh, brilliant save by Belshaw. Quality. Now we're back in numbers. They've still got the ball on the edge of the area, trying to jink his way inside. Good tackle. They have still got the possession, recycling the play. Can we please get a foot in? I've got a foot in, and we should clear now. Oh, no. Oh, brilliant last ditch defending. And keeper's going to get on the end of it as well. Probably saved us a point there. And I'm going to say that is going to be the full-time whistle. Yeah, that is the full-time whistle. It has ended 1-1. Not a bad, not a bad result for our first game with Harrogate Town at all. A lot of positives to take from that, especially in that striker. We've got the young lad, Welsh up front. Yeah, can only get better at it. It's a building process. It is a building process. Next game up is an away fixture against Derry City in the International Cup. We are going to sim this game. This is how it is looking. Another 4-4-1 formation from the opposition. We're going to sim this match. The new simming system, which I believe is really good. Let's have a look at it. Um, you can jump into the game throughout the game on the same match and it is instant. So if we are struggling a bit, we're going to jump in. We can make substitutions. We can manage the full team from this sim. It's not like a quick sim. I've got the option to quick sim, but I want to watch how the boys get on and have a look, see what's happening. Let's jump into it. Here we go. I love this presentation. It's the little things in it. It's the little things. Still fuck us over, but these little things make us happy. <laughs> Let's have a look then. Here we go. Derry City to kick off. Ah, I like this, like football manager. Team pressing high. 
All right, Derry City playing it about a bit. Ah, we've got possession now. What's happening here then? Come on. Great play, great play. It's what you want. Ball given away. You can actually look at ratings as well uh, while the game is going on. See who is performing, see who is not performing. So if not someone... In, oh, wait, we've got an attacking opportunity. Oh, oh. Tell you what. Tell you what. I was busy looking at the ratings of the lads. Um... So yeah, if someone's not performing when attack position again, oof. if someone's not performing, you can switch them out, you can sub them off, go across to your bench, I'm guessing, and, and sub them. Um, maybe not, I don't really know. Don't know how it works. Oh, team management, I'm guessing. And we're on the attack again. Good ball out. Is he offside? Good ball across. Oh, you've got to finish that ball, bounced everywhere. It's gone out for a goal kick. Oh, I quite like this. I do like this a lot. Um, you can change your game plan as you're going along as well um, if you want them to attack more proper football manager style it is I do really like this Derry attacking in the right hand channel good defending so yeah you can change well, we're on the attack we're on the attack hey Oh, shot at goal. Oh, he's offside. Yeah, so you can change the game plan. You can see the game plan of the different teams. Um, so if I change to attacking, it will... Well, when it comes to it, change to attacking, I'm guessing. When you go back on. No, done. But we'll look into that as we're going anyway. Um, all our different game plans for that. Which when we get the right team we want. Um, you've got your fitness as well, so you can see who's gassing. But approaching the half-time whistle, and Derry are in a good scoring position. Just gone a bit wide. Can we go into the break and we're drawing? Oh, it's gone wide. And that is the half-time whistle. Yeah, I, I rate that. We haven't had much possession. They've had one shot, one chance. No shots, no chances for us. 35% possession. They've had 65% possession. We'll resume this, see how we get on in the second half, boys. Clearly, there seem to be the better team on the ball than us. Oh, Derry are in. They're in. They're in. And they've scored to make it 1 0. 52 minutes gone. Can we bring it back? I tell you, I might have to jump in. And to sh this, this jump in is serious business. It goes straight to where all these players are, it goes straight in. Absolutely quality, I love it. And we don't seem to be getting any any of the ball, and they are attacking. I think next time we're in possession, I am going to jump in. Gone out for a corner, not jumping in yet. I'll jump in when we're in open play. Ball in, cleared. They're in again. Got a ball across, and it goes. Right, jump in, and there. Instant, it's quality. And we are on the attack. Probably fucked that up a bit, no. Welsh, Welsh, can he get the shot away, gets a shot away, drags it wide and it is still 1-0 but that is the, inst like it's so good, it is so good and I believe you can jump back out as well, back to the sim, uh, yeah sim rest of match, jump to result, so it's good, you can come on for the decisive moments but we need to get the win or at least the draw want some kind of money from this competition. Welsh is through again. Straight through the middle. Ball through. Can he open his body up? Gets the finish. And he's made it 1-1. Absolutely quality finish with his weaker foot. Oh, jeez. What, boys? Oh, decent celebration. 1-1. <laughs> Defence splitting ball. And he slots it past the keeper. The boy has a future in the top flight of English football. He really does. Two matches gone and I'm saying he's fucking world best player. By the way, Harrogate's kits are quite smart. Shame about the sponsor. If the sponsor weren't there. Ooh, ooh, kit and half. Oh, Welsh had a run again. Going down a different avenue this time. You stay on side, please. He is going through again. 
Can he get around the defender? Does get around the defender. Can he get the finish? Gets a shot away. Oh, saved by the keeper. Nearly fell out to my other attacker in the box. And Derry have actually kept it in from going out for our throw in. Oh, Derry in a good position to get a shot away. Can we get the ball? I've got the ball. Good tackle. I uh, don't think we've got time. No, and um, that is the full time whistle. And it is a 1 1 draw. Once again, we came into the match and saved it for a point. Probably not going to be enough. I've got one more game left. Probably not going to be enough to, to progress from the group stage in this uh, friendly cup. But that man Welsh, he's looking good. Positives to take out of it, definitely. And here is our last group match against Waterford FC. We are going to fully quick sim this match, get it over and done with, see where we end up. We are currently sat second, joint second. Let's see how the boys do. Du, du, 2 1 loss. Brilliant. Who scored for us? Where do you see? Where do you see? Oh, Falkingham. Falkingham. Falkingham scored for us to make it 1-1 and then they sealed it in the 64th minute what can you do what can you do we'll still get a bit of money and yeah we haven't progressed we haven't progressed but we still get some money for that let's have a look how much we do get 207,000 not too bad for a club of our size at all so I have scouted a few players what do have potential to improve our squad. Um, centre attack of mids and goalkeepers. I have got a few more I'm actually scouting, but I don't know. I don't know. I like the look of Daniel Golai. But then we could get Zhao Virginia on loan. Um, help us throughout for this season that could be an option and then we've got a free agent in Simon Omosola uh, in terms of centre attack of mids Elliot Embleton has got 12 months left on his contract same with Max Sheaf from Hull City um, could be big players both decent age as well we have Clayton Lewis 60 overall who is a free agent and then i'm not even gonna fucking bother pronouncing that so but this geezer anyway at the moment it's a max sheaf for me outside foot shot and playmaker i'm looking for a playmaker he's got them traits We are scouting other players, so we'll see how they shape up before making any decisions. Right, that is the end of my scouting for players. And my main transfer target for a centre attack of mid is Ewan Henderson from Celtic. But I haven't got the funds to fully outright buy him. I am going to try and get him on a loan to buy, which is back in FIFA. He, he, he's got the flair. He's, he'll be massive, absolutely massive, if we can get him. Uh, if not, my backup is Max Sheaf. Um, both same age, but Ewan Henderson is a better quality. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the first transfer negotiations on the strict as well. Good to see you. have been looking forward to sitting down with you. Shall we make a start? Yes, we fucking shall. Ah, I hope, I hope we can learn to buy, learn to buy. <sighs> fucking a transfer if we decide to make it permanent. Might not be able to do loan to buy. I just, we ain't got the funds, but. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Right, okay. Okay, one year. I'd like him for a year, definitely. Brilliant. Going good. So in terms of how we plan to split Henderson wages, I'd like them to play, pay more, to be honest. They are a bigger club. I reckon they do 30, 70.
Are they gonna? Are they gonna? Gonna help a, help a brother out? Yeah? No? Yeah? No? It's like a fucking dagger in the heart. I want to do an 80% for us and 20% for them. I'm going to try and just... I do want the geezer, but... What about... I know he's not... Well, we ain't got much budget, bro. Do you know what I mean? Fucking hell, just... Do us a solid, lad. Come on. Right, okay. 60-40. I'm happy with that. Transfer fee. At the end of the day, right? Surely... What's his... Do you know what? Let's see if they'll go for 900k. I should, probably should have put a sell on clause. But, nah, no, no, might not. Might not. But, we'll see. Going to have to move upwards on that. How about a million and fifty? Right, alright. Counter you. Propose new transfer fee. I'm not. I tell you what, like, I, I just want to revisit that 900,000. Do you know what I'm saying? Revisit that. Let's see. All right, nine, nine, 950k. Yeah. And add a sell on clause of, we'll go for a cheeky little 6%. How, how about that? How about that? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Bang. Class, that's a fucking deal and a half. Absolutely. I don't know who makes deals, but I'm that person. Do you know what I mean? Just, ah, it's quality. Absolutely quality. Got him in the fucking team now. Have we? Maybe waiting for him to get in the team. If he wants to accept or not. I hope he does. Might not. Hope he does, obviously. Now, on to my goalkeeper. Free agent. Biggest overall. It's an improvement. I'm going to get him in the squad. I'm going to I'm gonna approach him. So, you know, we're not about bringing these big players in. We need to look for the ones that can help us in the short term. And if we can get them on good deals, I'm, I'm happy to do that 100%. I want a crucial squad role. Accept you can have it, you can have it, bro. Before you can have a four year deal, absolutely, because you're only going to grow. You're only 22, he's only 22, and they can absolutely have a four year deal. And I love this, they're just doing all the talking for me, don't need to do anything. Yeah, all right, uh, signing bonus of 13k. I'm not so sure about that, maybe 10k off that. 10k off that, 3k. Surely. Do you know what? He ain't got a team. Why are you trying to drive an hard bargain, mate? Fucking. You can fuck off with your signing bonus. Free. That like we're not a massive club. Do you know what I mean? 13k. Some of the lads aren't even on that a year. 13k he wants as a signing bonus. Behave, lad. Behave. And your clean sheets. If you get 15 clean sheets, you can have that. How, how, how about that? How about that then? He's nodding. Can agree on. <sighs> Looking at 12. Fucking stupid, man. You, you dumb. You dumb. You ain't got a club, bro. I'm giving you a lifeline. Alright. Okay, right. I'll pay you a little bit more weekly. A little bit more weekly. Yeah. Drop that signing bonus. Oh no. Drop that signing bonus down to 10k for me. Solid 10. 10k, yeah. Rate that. Advance with that. Put your bonus. Your bonus, lad. Can you do me 10 clean sheets? And round that up to 8,500. Go on. Go on. That's that's reasonable. That is surely reasonable. Ah. 
not what he was hoping for, but he ain't got a club, so he ain't got much choice, has he? That's two players now we have signed and coming into the team if Ewan Henderson accepts. Hopefully he does, but we'll see. And before Ewan Henderson comes in, this is how we are now shaping up with our new goalkeeper. We are improving ever so slightly. It's going all right. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I am happy. We're, we're, we're getting there. It's our first season. These lads are only going to improve as well. Happy days. And that brings us on to our first game of the English Football League 2. And I am going to leave the episode there for today. I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for our next game. It'll be absolutely amazing. We've done some decent signings in this episode. So come back for that. Button's always down in that corner. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.